Hello, my name is Bernhard Randl Eichwedler, and me and my colleague Julian, um, that is currently filming, are going to present you um, the Android interface. It's an interface between any Android phone um, and a serial port or embedded hardware. The Android inter Android interface um, has a simple serial connector here um, and a USB host port that is connected to the Android device. And additionally, it has a USB slave, slave port that can be used for debugging of the software on the Android device. The Android port interface is currently fully functional and we can test it in a few simple steps. At first, we use the Android port interface and plug it into uh, the USB serial converter on TTL level with 5 volt output. We plug it, we plug it in and then a single green LED um, that indicates the power should start, should light up. Then we use a standard micro USB cable connected to the USB host port and connected to our Android device. So now we are going to show you the communication uh, between an Android device and a USB serial converter. The Android device is connected via cable to the Android port interface and this is connected to a standard USB serial converter. As you see here, we have our serial terminal open. Now we are going to connect to the application running on the Android phone. The, um, this application is tunneling the traffic through to our Android port interface. We just open the connection. And now we have a connection between the TCP, uh, between the TCP port and the serial port. And if we write here, we are going to get the messages on TCP and if you write here we are going to get the messages on the serial port. So that's basically the communication between the Android, Android port interface and any serial device. Now we are going to show you um, the advanced capabilities of the Android port interface. Um, with the Android port interface, um, you are able to maintain the deep debuggability of the Android device. We can now plug our Android device via a standard micro USB connector to our PC. After we plug the device into our PC, it should show up as Android phone, here seen as Android ADB interface. Now we can simply go to the ADP client and look if the devices look at the devices. Now we see the Android port interface with the status device. Now we can just zoom into uh, now we ch can just ls into our system with ADP shell and the ls command. And now, as you see, we get the device list of all files on our device, on our, our Android phone. So, now we are showing you what um, you will, will be able to do with the Android port interface. For example, we used the Android port interface, the small little hardware device, um, and connected it to a hexapod from the Upper Austria University of Applied Sciences. Um, we used uh, a ZTE Blade, a very cheap um, Android phone, connected it to the Android port interface and to our main control PCB. Now we will be able to control our complete hexapod with the ZTE Blade. The ZTE Blade uh, is connected to the local Wi-Fi network. With the local Wi-Fi network, um, I can connect to it um, via my standard ne normal Nexus One phone. Now, if I, for example, now I got the camera stream from the ZTE blade, and now I can control the robot. For example, enable the buzzer, or I can bring the robot and bring the hexapod in some something called the attack mode, and control it just while my mobile phone. So, what you do with your um, Android device is up to you.
So, if you have interest in our Android interface, the hardware, the software, or both, visit us at our homepage at crossdevelop.at. If you have questions or suggestions, please mail us to um, info at crossdevelop.at. Thank you.